Who do you blame for England winning the World Cup? <laughs> <laughs> I know they technically haven't won it yet, but it will feel like it for the next nine months. <laughs> Yes, England qualified for the World Cup on Tuesday night. Roy Hodgson, the manager, thinks they can't actually win it because, as he said, it isn't always the best team that wins the World Cup. <laughs> ah, that explains 1966. <laughs> but who can we blame for England winning the World Cup? Well, they're probably going to blame the Polish now that we've beaten them. <laughs> um, are there any Polish in tonight? You see, they're all working. And that's what we need. <laughs> that's what we need in this country. Because <laughs> I don't understand the Polish people get this racial abuse now, because when I was growing up in the 70s and 80s, I couldn't change my accent. I was Indian. So the Polish, they can technically get around it. Here's a, here's a, here's a Polish, just go and do him. What do you mean, do me? I thought you were Polish. No, I'm not Polish. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> you actually mush. <laughs> So I think it's an easier way out of immigration. Just change your accent. But the thing was to beat uh, England. It was in the papers the next day that England are straight through and, yeah, we're going to win. And the three lines on a shirt. <laughs> All that stuff. And, uh, but the thing is, they beat Poland. Poland are 65th in the world, apparently. And um, there were 18,000 Poles in the crowd at Wembley. 18,000. Yeah. Maybe that was Roy just Roy Hodgson's going to have trouble if he needs a plumber. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a great thing. What? I think you need England in the World Cup. Mm -hmm. Right, Northern Ireland aren't there, Republic of Ireland aren't there. It's, you, you want them in the World Cup because if you don't like England, well, then you have someone to shout for, which is all the other teams. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you do like England, you shout for England. Yeah. If they weren't there, you would regret it. You would miss them like they missed penalties. <laughs> <laughs> would miss, like, teams on, on, on the island of Ireland are rubbish, right? Now, the Republic of Ireland, we have a caretaker manager at the moment. And by caretaker, I think that means that he probably locks up the stadium after he goes <laughs> home. <laughs> He just has a load of keys in his belt, right? <laughs> Northern Ireland, you boys are brutal, right? You wouldn't get to the World Cup if you hosted the World Cup, right? <laughs> Which I think, by the way, you should do. I think that is the way... I think it would be brilliant. Northern Ireland should try and host the World Cup. You could have... You could play it in all the stadia you have here. You could play it in Windsor Park. And I'm sure you've got other stadia as well. <laughs> You could play, you could play Clifton Bill, the Cliftonville play in Solitude. So called, it's called Solitude because that's how a fan can enjoy a match. <laughs> um, in virtual solitude. <laughs> you need to have it, right? And you have all the, like the Olympics, when the Special Olympics came to the Republic, they had, I think, it, did it come, was it here as well? But you need, you have little countries based in various little yeah. towns all around, all around Northern Ireland. So you have, uh, like, uh, Ivory Coast, Shankill Road. Right? Because the Ivory Coast flag is green, white and orange yeah. for the crack, right? <laughs> England, the Falls Road, for the same reason. Um, Israel into Derry, <laughs> call that a wall. Um, <laughs> and the best one, Iran to South Armagh. Just going, oh, what's Iran like? Oh, the worst thing about being from Iran is the oil sanctions. We are finding it hard to get our fuel across the borders. <laughs> You have come to the right place, my friends. <laughs>